In this video, we're going to move on to the next tool in 3D Codes for Redobology Workspace, and that is the measure tool. It resides in the Paint, Retopo, and Sculpt workspaces and functions in a consistent manner across the entire application. Whenever you select a tool, the Tool Options panel pops up and you have your units of measure, the digits after comma. You can see the measurement in the middle of the line and if I increase that to three, you can see it reflected in the numbers. Then you have constraints where you can stick with no constraints or align it to X, Y, and Z, screen space, an individual axis, or plane. So let's try Y and Z. I escape. And to clear that, choose clear. You don't have to click, hold, and drag. You can move your cursor about freely and the line will follow. I'm going to uncheck that or change it to X and Y. And so you can just continue clicking to create geodesic lines. The previous measure tool was all linear. In this way, if you need, you can measure the length and the width and the height and so on. Now, if you should need to adjust any one of the points, you can left mouse click. It works much like the splines in the ePanel. If you want to delete a point, you can just double click it. Another way to do that is to left mouse click and drag a point over the top of another. And 3D Coat essentially just welds them together or deletes one of them. You can also go to this little toggle at the bottom if you want to have this wrap around a curved surface. In this case, I have such a thin object, it gets a little bit wonky with me, but if you have something of standard thickness, you won't have any problems. Let's click clear and obviously you can save and load if you forget how to use it obviously you've got a tool tip here the next thing is using a fixed length and you set the fixed length here and so when I click and drag you can see how it's constrained in 100 millimeter increments so I hit escape to drop the initial creation of a line and I can continue clicking to create additional lines I'll click clear and then uncheck fixed length. Distance snapping. You can set the numeric value just below it and it's going to snap according to whatever value you have stipulated. You can create them in various lengths but they will still try to snap in increments of 10 millimeters. So I hit escape, clear, then uncheck distance snapping. Show one of the tools is a very handy feature because it allows you to switch to other tools while leaving your guides or your lines intact. This way you can utilize them as visual aids or aids for measuring as you create your retopo mesh. And then with snapped guides, 3D Coat will try to snap along this line. Okay, so as you can see, you can change the name with this little toggle here you can hide the distance revealing just the line only if you uncheck that it appears again we can also change the color of the line itself and you can hide it if you need temporarily with that we will conclude this overview of the measure tool in 3d coats retopology workspace thank you for watching we will see you next video